Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today's episode is going to be a little different. Uh, a little, I've, done, I've done one of these setups before, but I'm using a slightly different setup. I'm using my streaming setup today um, uh, to do this episode. And today's episode, I'm going to uh, cover this, uh, you know, was doing some filing and that kind of stuff, and I came across uh, this big stack of uh, anime art books. And uh, today, uh, in the stream, I'm going to go through the art books and just sort of uh, give you an idea of some of the stuff that I've, uh, I've picked up, you know, so uh, esoteric some of it is, and uh, you know, how, you know, maybe if there's a story or if you can remember something about the particular uh, book and that stuff, I'll tell you. And again, if you have any questions or any uh, things you want to clarity, you want maybe close up, you want to see a sample page or something like that, by all means, write it in the chat, and uh, I will, you know, I'll stop and I'll, I'll pull it open for you, and you can uh, have a, a closer look and that kind of stuff. Um, permitting, of course. All right, so let's begin. Okay. So the first book I've got on this show, this one, is a book called. And then I should be able to hold it here without too much. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is the first book I read. It's called uh, Sakura. Uh, okay, the Sakura Nombo uh, Sushigin. Okay, and uh, this is uh, made by uh, Yujin. Okay, so Yujin is the guy who makes all, like for example, Yujin brand, and he also makes uh, the, the 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 hentai things like uh, Angel and that kind of stuff like that. Um, so basically what he does is in this particular book, he uh, particularly follows uh, particular characters uh, like uh, uh, written on the side here, Ura, uh, Shizuka, An, Megumi, and Satomi, okay, for this particular type of thing. So again, I, 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 you know, because, you know, I don't really you know, know too much about the actual um, story of, the, of Sakura in this one, but of course it's made by Yujin, so of course you know, that's why I want to focus on this guy uh, specifically. And uh, so he's really good artist, really that kind of stuff. So, yeah, back to region for that one. <clears throat> okay, uh, this one is uh, this book here. It's uh, Cyber Weapon Z, okay, uh, or Double Z in this case, okay, um, or I guess it's you know, Double Z or whatever, as you will. Um, it's mid, uh, basically a comic book series made by uh, Andy Sito. And, um, and what I really liked about this one is, is because. Um, you know, the the, uh, the comic that he does is very, very similar to a lot of um, um, animes that was really popular. He was really influenced by a lot of the different animes that came out at this time. And so I'm going to pop it open just so you can see it, what, what I mean by that. It's sort of an artwork book, uh, as many of, of his different sort of pictures and that kind of stuff in it here. You can see that, you know, this one here is very, very much, uh, you know, the kind of Arion and uh, you know what what not you know it's got the cat girl from like the minion kind of you know tank police and he's got the black cat panther cat here like you know like the dirty pair he himself is uh, the is drawn like Venus Wars kind of thing okay and then of course you got the um, on this side here uh, you know again you know better illustrated you know, you know basically your cat girl like character uh, again from like uh, you know like you know the uh, the Puma sisters from the uh, yeah, Dominion. Um, again, they're wearing outfits like like you know l l like like the Dragon Ball GT, yeah, or Dragon Ball Z like characters. And of course, you know this this guy right here. Literally, it's you know Terry Bogard kind of thing. <laughs> Even with the you know, right down to the hat almost, right? So, you know, but it's, you know, thanks a little sort of booklet of, of, of all his various different uh, you know artworks and that kind of stuff. You know. Very, very nice book for that kind of stuff, you know. And that's what I really loved about this uh, this particular book. But yeah, I really like this series because um, when I was following Cyber Weapon Z, which was really kind of, the, the, you know, the, this series, um, this uh, Zero Series of Story, um, I was so, it was really interesting because it said it, 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 it was like a com, you know, fighting Shaolin Warriors type of thing, but it had the, the modern thing of let's say apple seed or that kind of stuff but at the same time it was like Dragon Ball Z and then had mixed in like Zeta Gundam and all this other stuff so all sort of mixed into this one comic and the guy only made like five issues at the time and it was really kind of really hard to get all the issues because again when it was released in China it was kind of um, you know hung a release thing and so you know it's good that he put a, a nice little art book of this thing all together into one uh, into one thing here. Uh, 
This is the next book here. Okay. This one is called um, Nuvi's Logic, okay? And uh, the, um, the the character designer is Ko Kawajima, okay? Now, what I like about this guy is, if you look carefully, this guy is probably one of the one of the um, the guys that most closely copies um, Satoshi Ushihara's artwork. Okay, so if you kind of look at this one, it's very much like the, the you know has the very you know shines of, of like like the TRS look that, that that you can see in like Greaser and that kind of stuff. Again, it's, um, you know, he, he, it's, it's, it's uh, you know his style over that thing. And I remember I bought this artwork because you know specifically for that um, kind of thing. Okay. And what I really like about this guy, I'll just kind of go through there. Uh, again, uh, I think he's known for a lot of things like uh, Voogie's Angels and that kind of stuff. Uh, let me see if I can try to find something that's um, safe. <laughs> Is that the right word? Um, make sure this page here. So, yeah. Voogie's yeah, so Angels. I think that's the one from uh, Voogie's Angels. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, you can see he, he even tries to, you know, he's got that. He's got that precision in, in 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 how he puts the you know the the, the 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 spark part the sparkle part in the eyes, and uh, you know again, you know maybe he doesn't quite uh, concentrate on the other parts of the body as much, but uh, he definitely uh, um, <laughs> he definitely knows what he is. Okay, he even has a little bit of his own comic in here. From his logic. Okay, kind of a really cool thing. But again, you can see that. Uh, you know, just the way he draws certain parts of things. Okay, it's called uh, Yui Shop One. Okay, and uh, it's the art book uh, for um, uh, Satoshi uh, uh, Shoti, uh, Toshiki Yui. Okay, um, and it's called Yui Shop because it's basically a, 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 a whole bunch of things um, or um, of his art and that kind of stuff that he does using. Photoshop. Okay, so again, if you're a really good expert at Photoshop and you want to know some of the, you know, um, techniques and that kind of stuff of using Photoshop and that kind of stuff, his book is really good for that. So first of all, it starts off with a, you know, a little bit of his uh, sort of manga artwork and that kind of stuff. You can see, you know, he uses the, you know, the, um, uh, the, you know, kind of the, the, the stylings of, 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 of Photoshop to do, you know, gradient fills and that kind of stuff and and and, and, uh, and line work and that kind of stuff. For actually filling in the cells, okay. All right, so there's another sample of some of the work that he does in this on on this particular book, okay. So again, uh, you know, a lot of work on on how he does the you know the, the fill work. It's not like your standard cell, you know, drawn uh, black and white manga. He actually you know you know does kind of thing. Okay, nothing, yeah, okay, yeah, nothing happens in this page, but you can kind of guess what's happening on this page. Okay, so there's another sample of uh, some stuff. So again, you have eleven. And uh, you know some kind of a, a something happening on that page there. Okay, so uh, yeah. So, anyway, so yeah. So the book is uh, by uh, Toshiki Yui, called Yui Shop. And there's uh, several um, issues of this particular uh, uh, the book that he makes. And in the later issues, not in this one, um, he uh, has it so that uh, um, uh, he has it so that uh, he actually shows you some of the things that he does in Photoshop to to, to achieve those special effects. All right. Uh, so yes, uh, again, uh, you know, so your new guys are appearing on the stream. I am basically, uh, um, you know, doing on this live stream here. We're um, doing my preparation and recording for my uh, YouTube video that I normally put on Fridays, but you know, I figured I may as well get it recorded today. Uh, my wife is using my uh, YouTube uh, video um, microphone from my from my studio right now, so I have to uh, use a different mic, and so I'm going to use this one to do the recording um, uh, for the YouTube stream. Um, so I'll you know, do some clean up as, uh, as I normally do and uh, you know there is this uh, um, big huge uh, pile of stuff that I found yes uh, yes Chad uh, my, uh, my, my, my I went into the collection and you know, I went into the collection of smut yes and uh, and now I'm pulling the smut out and uh, showing you uh, very very cautiously and carefully so I don't uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 go over the terms of service there. Yeah, yeah. Oops, his finger slipped. Yeah, I guess if I if if if, if I have any uh, weird slips or that kind of stuff, I'm gonna have to edit it out on the video before I actually post it to YouTube, or so I don't uh, get myself uh, booted off of YouTube because of uh, of, uh, of uh, 
content for your problems. Yeah? Yes, yes. <laughs> we don't have any. Uh, uh, what do you call? It? What do you call? It? It's not exactly. Uh, you know the. Um, it's not a wardrobe malfunction. It's a. Uh, uh, yes, yes, it's not a wardrobe malfunction. It's a uh, a prop malfunction. There you go. That's what it is. It's called a prop uh, malfunction. That's it. Yes, everyone needs more smut in their lives. Yes. Hey, this is anime. Why not? Why not? You know, like this, this, you know, they, they gotta be, you know, let's get. You know, here they are in, in Australia and that kind of stuff. They're trying to like ban anime for the like, fact that oh my god, it's smutty. Like, like you know, who. Oh, Good grief! Like, it's like it's not all anime is like smut. He's just, just you know, whatever. You know. Yeah. By the way, OBI should be able to record as well. Yes, uh, yes. I, I've got the record on, so it is recording. Thank you. So I'll hopefully get enough footage and uh, and chop it up. Uh, I've been basically the last couple of days. Uh, I've been recording a lot of uh, video game footage on the Power Power machine, and so um, I've been uh, dissecting and chopping that up and and using uh, the footage and that kind of stuff for that. So. Thanks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is that all good? There you go. All right. So this is um, the uh, what is referred to as, as Ray. Uh, well, it's, a, um, it's a series of uh, books called uh, Positive from um, Positive Girls. Okay. And uh, this is the um, uh, uh, Ray uh, Ray Aishi illustrations. Okay. Um, he's the guy who does the manga work for uh, Makuret's Hunter, or as, as, they, as they get translated over as Sorcerer's Hunters. Okay. And uh, like, let's see. So there, there's some of the, the nicer of, uh, you know, manga cover artwork and that kind of stuff for uh, Sorcerer's Hunters. Uh, I think the, the, that picture of Tira and that kind of stuff is a little bit risque, but now that's... She's wearing clothes, that's it. She's wearing clothes, kind of, you know. <laughs> and you get the video you know, covers and that kind of stuff that, 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 that he made for those ones as well. This is also in there. Why? Well, <laughs> why not, Chad? Why not? Uh, okay, so the next one is brain powered. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you this thing. Um, now, this uh, cover that I, I just made to mention to it didn't need to be this because brain powered was a, a title that was released by Genom Pioneer, and it's not actually a hentai title. So you know, you know that's what's really confusing, right? It's uh, one of these giant mecha type shows. But yeah, this is a really nice um, a thing. Uh, oh, here's a big, huge poster. Of the front page, so again, if you really like what you see on the front page, well, you get a big huge poster of it. But yeah, so again, it's another one of these uh, sort of girls and uh, mecha type of uh, 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 of animes. Again, if you want to check it out, uh, the title is called uh, Brain Powered. Um, and the nice thing about this book is, as I said, it's it, uh, you know, not only does it have lots of good artwork and that kind of stuff and, and whatnot, but it uh, you know. It starts outlining the, the you know the different parts of the story and that kind of stuff for you, uh, you know, and the mechs and that kind of stuff. Uh, this is your equivalent of your spoilers here. You know, episode twenty six. What happens in this? Okay, there we go. So again, uh, without telling you, I'm not going to tell you what happens in the story. You can go and watch it. Yeah, so I'm not doing any st any spoilers. But yeah, so again, uh, like all these uh, you know big uh, uh, books that have like the, uh, you know uh, the particular animes, they go through the go through the series. Uh, if they need summaries for episodes, they, they do the summaries for you. Uh, this one has a particular uh, interview from the. Uh, uh, for, the, for the writers and the, and the staff and whatnot, um, is the when they when they start talking to the, to the art people, and then they get into the you know the whole storyboarding and and, and uh, that kind of stuff beforehand. So it's really nice for that. So this so again, this becomes a nice uh, sort of uh, you know guidebook for uh, the series uh, Brain Powered. Okay, here's a book that I haven't even freaking opened yet. I mean, it's still like sealed from when I actually bought it. Okay. <coughs> But uh, yeah, so this is the um, the Gundam Wing Memorial Final Wing uh, 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 the art book here. Okay, so again, just it's a you know, one of these 
a great series that a lot of people I know got started in uh, in, in anime, and that's what they were watching was Gundam Wing and uh, and that kind of stuff. And you know, uh, and, you know that was I think one of the the, 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 the key mark uh, series that uh, in terms of uh, you know, getting Gundam over here in North America, that one was, was the one that really kicked things off. But then again, you know, we were coming at a time where things like Sailor Moon was coming out, and so that was really kickstarting everything and uh, and and whatnot. And uh, so you know, that was a really good time in anime, about around that 1995, 96 around there somewhere. Um, yeah, that was really really a good time. Okay. Oh, this one's another fun one. Okay, oh, oh this is I like this this series. Okay, so here's the art book for uh, Lost Universe, the special. Okay. All right. So again, for all those people who, who like uh, Slayers and you know that entire franchise, again, so the same uh, artist design that kind of stuff who made this one, uh, available for Lost Universe. Okay, and uh, I always love these these these, these, uh, these posters that they put in there. So here's a, a non prompt to uh, you see show here. Yeah, you know, some of an all girls, uh, 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 you know, uh, poster right there. Which is really nice. That's what I like about these art books. They always have like really cool stuff, like posters and that kind of stuff in them. Really cool. So the, you know, the second, the middle section, which is the story file. So that, you know, basically is like your episode summary. So it goes through you know, the, the different episodes of the of the series. Uh, the artwork, the illustrations. So a lot of poster illustrations because this, this guy likes to use that that soft, uh, you know. Uh, Photoshop type of uh, look, that, 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 that sort of digital look to it, which is really nice. Which again, at this time was really really popular. And then of course, uh, for all the, the, the you know the, the people, uh, you know the actual uh, how to make the, the the artwork and that kind of stuff, the various different characters, sketch artworks and that kind of stuff, which a lot of people you know love to you know to do at that sort of time. Okay. There's a big picture for for, for Connell, how to draw her and that, and that kind of stuff. Okay. Another book in the uh, new type series of uh, illustrated collection is a book called, uh, uh, yes, yeah, so it's a book called Neutral, okay? And it's the art book for uh, Yukiru uh, Sugisaki, okay? Yukiru. Oh, you know something? I should probably just read the back here. Best selling comics of Yukiru Sugisaki, Brain Powered and DNA Angel, okay? So he's the uh, manga, the manga artist. So there you go. So a nice match for that other book that I have right over there uh, for Brain Powered. This is the guy who actually does the artwork for that uh, series, Brain Powered. Uh, there's even a, <laughs> there's even more uh, sort of a, you know the ones are Dean Angel uh, 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 manga sort of uh, ad adaptation that he does there. Um, <clears throat> one of the major key books. Uh, this is the uh, the uh, first main book for uh, Sailor Moon. Okay. Soldier Sensi Sailor Moon, uh, first series art book. Um, okay, and this was really nice is because this was one of these, um, you know, how to get the and the, the little details and draw all different different things of the different characters, right? So, um, you know, right down to you know, pencil sketches, how the how the shading and that kind of stuff is all done, and everything like that, right? So. And then, as the series continues, you know, different sort of designs and on, on that kind of stuff, the various different characters, how they vary, how they differ, and and whatnot. And then, of course, right at the very, very end, I see. So again, this uh, uh, you know, again, uh, for any sort of real big fan of Sailor Moon, you know, th this is one of those things that you you know they're going to have that in their collection for sure. Oh, this is a nice little book. I remember this one here. Okay, so this is another for you for all your gun uh, for Gundam Gunplow guys here. I'll hold it back for this so it doesn't. You know. Okay, so this is Gundam Fix. Okay, which is kind of like F X with the slash, but it's, you know, so if you put it together, it makes it sound like Gundam Fix. Okay, and this is really cool because this is a, it's in a sliding thing, so you just kind of slide it out like this. Okay. And it's a hardcover book inside the thing like this, okay. And then, uh, you know, this is one of these books, uh, you know, made by uh, New Type Magazine, and uh, basically it, it shows the world, you know, of you know, it shows a computer graphics and that kind of stuff, uh, rendering that kind of stuff. So you can see, it's a bunch of their various different 
pictures of uh, Gundam, uh, you know, using that sort of, uh, you know, computer rendered, uh, sort of real kind of looking like thing. Let's see if I can, uh, always like this one, yeah, the, you know, the, the, uh, the Zeta Pluses. I thought those were, really, yeah, I was always like that, you know, but, you know, that was a cool kind of, yeah. And always like adding that sort of thing to it, you know, the, the, the whole uh, size sort of Giga gear, you know, how, where that sort of, sort of fits into the Gundam storyline. All right, I don't even remember what this, what this one's about. <laughs> this is one of these other things where you, you, if you, if you ever remember buying something and you don't realize, I don't remember what this thing is about, <laughs> why I even bought this thing. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this one is the um, uh, the Udusur Yatsura um, Lam Ataru um, book or box. Okay. Okay, so I open this up. I, I actually don't remember what this what, what this thing is actually is. Okay. I open this up. It's all actually sealed. You can see this. It's actually all sealed up and and like taped up so uh, maybe we can just slip one out the middle here okay so it's so it's the uh, lump pack volume 3 uh, volumes 21 to 30 the TV system illustrations of Urusha Atsura laser disc? I, no, I don't think the laser is too flexible to be laser disc I've never seen it. If I said I've never seen it before. Yeah, you've seen it like me, like me. I have. I, I don't even recall what this thing is, and I'm the one who bought it. <laughs> so, uh, once I got it opened, I opened up that little piece of steel on that, and see what, what it actually is. Oh, okay. There we go. So these are like the. Um, So these are indeed the covers of all the laser discs for Rudasur Atsura. There we go. So, <clears throat> so let's just kind of go through this pack since I actually opened it now. Um, so, let's there. Uh, so Rudasur Atsura, uh, these are basically the laser disc covers for uh, volumes. Uh, uh, you know, 21, 22, uh, 23, 24, 25. You can see like a you know, laser disc number 25 up here. here. And actually, if you, see, you can see on the corner, that, that's actually the laser disc symbol right there. So you can that, 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 that. So basically, yeah, so this is all the, uh, you know, oh, that's kind of nice. Um, oh yeah, the, the, the Lum wedding episode. So that's 28, 29, and 30. So yeah, so. <clears throat> so yes, you are, yeah, so you were kind of sort of right uh, Zawadu, it, uh, it, it is kind of like the laziness, but not really kind of like the laziness. It's, it's all the artwork from the laziness. So, um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, so this is like a little, um, uh, kind of a um, a box which basically contains all the you know all the artwork and the things from all the laser discs onto a um, you know into a pack okay into a you know, solid pack here um, okay, I'll put that later, later. and so yeah so that's what it, that's what the cover of it looks like in the box and uh, Let's see. This thing is Ruka Takahashi Kitty Fuji TV. Uh, a thousand yen? Really? Okay, let's. It's a pretty good deal for a thousand yen. Okay, hey, that, you know, that's like 10 bucks US. So it's actually not too bad. Um, and considering that this is going to be, what? It's, you know, one, two, three, four, five packs here, right? So. Um, you know, so that's uh, yeah, about 50, you know, about 50 laser discs, which is what, you know, which, what that uh, set was uh, uh, for other sets. Here. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Fun part. Okay, again, a lot of you guys have uh, you know, sort of played this game here. This is the 
Tekken 3 Hyper Commando book. Okay. Um, so again, you know, uh, you know, in the, in the day, right? Um, you know, without the internet the way it is, um, you know, the, you couldn't get a lot of the information that you needed for, um, you know, particular video games, except you had to go and buy a book, right? And, you know, so, um, like this particular book uh, goes through and goes over all the various different um, uh, characters, okay? So, um, you know, so for example, we're going to go through, uh, you know, Jin Kazama there, okay? And he basically goes over the different sort of moves and that kind of stuff there. But at this time, one of the most important things to have or know, and the reason why you had to buy these books, is these things here told you um the combos that you needed to know right because obviously on the on the arcade game they never told you uh you know they'll, they'll, you know they'll tell you uh you know punch like punch kick uh, and if you do if you want to do uppercut then it's you know you hit these uh you know it's a half circle punch or nor left or right left uh through a fireball or whatever um you know and but they never told you how to chain it so so this thing will actually tell you okay this is what you do. If you do this thing, you can do a ten-hit combo, and you know you can do all this sort of stuff. So basically, you know, you, you do you know, left, right, you tap ten, you go down, then left, and then up. And it's like, okay, so you know, and basically, it, it, this is how you chain all the punches together, right? And then, uh, uh, you know, let's just flip ahead to another one here. Okay, you know, there's there's a uh, the Wong's a uh, ten-hit point combo there. And you can uh, you know go through that. So again, this is you know in the day when you know again they, they, they never really told you these things. Okay, so again, if you want to play the female character, okay, there's her ten you know ten point hit combo here. Uh, basically, so so this this is basically why you get these kind of books. You can sit there and go, ha ha, I know the combo. I'm gonna practice it. I'm gonna beat everyone down when they, when they go the next time I go to the arcade or. You know, play on the PlayStation or whatever, and that's why, you know, yeah, you know, people are like, uh, you know, juggling you and going, hey, stop it. <laughs> okay, so here's the next one here. This one's for um, um, a, a game slash anime uh, called uh, Viper RSR. Okay, um, I'll pick a safer page. Uh, so, so, so there you go. So again, uh, based uh, again, sort of on the on the anime there kind of thing for that. Okay. I show you the making of pages, but unfortunately those are uh, um, aren't um, I'm safe. And it looks like these are safe. Is that safe? Yes. Okay, good. I can show you this. One. All right. Okay, so there you go. There's this uh, some of the making of art. So again, if you don't want to see how how they particularly uh, draw it off before they actually do the you know the the, the coloring and that kind of stuff. And um, uh, uh, yes, you're right. It uh, Viper is a, uh, a, 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 a eighteen and over uh, type of uh, show. Yes, mm -hmm. and to answer your question, how did you get that? Um, it actually has an Owasi price tag on it. Actually, um, the book itself is uh, 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 is um, I don't think I can, sh I can stick it short to you, but yeah, the price tag on the very top here, and of course with all the light sheen, you probably can't see it. Can you see it? Is right here, uh, twenty two hundred yen. Okay, and the price tag. Okay, right here. Put them on. Right here. Twenty two hundred yen. Twenty two hundred yen. Forty eight dollars and forty cents. <laughs> so, ah, uh, they marked it up a uh, hundred and five percent. <laughs> so you know. A bit expensive, yes, but uh, you know, uh, y you had to pay for your schmuck back then, you know. It was, uh, you know, you had to pay it because they're the only guys that would give it to you, and since they actually were reliable in getting the stuff, even as you know, as controversial as as it is, they got it. So, next book, right, is uh, always our famous uh, favorite one, uh, G Taste. Uh, this is number uh, four and a half, okay, for G Taste, okay. And I love this guy's artwork. I mean, it's it's it's, it's just again uh, the you know the, the kind of computer work that he does, you know, okay. So you know he loves like doing that kind of stuff. Again, uh, a lot of computer work and that kind of stuff, uh, you know, done in in, in, in the in the the things that he does. Um, so 
you know, some nice things like that, for example. So, yeah, yes. So, um, he'll go through and, uh, and show you different uh, characters and that kind of stuff, how he how he will, uh, uh, can construct the characters and that kind of stuff in, the, in there too as well. Um, so, before he, you know, actually makes the, the, the framing and that kind of stuff for, for them. All right, so the next book on my list is uh, Clea, uh, this one called here. It's called uh, Cleopatra DC, um, written by uh, Kaoru uh, Shitani, okay? Now, again, Cleopatra DC is not actually a hentai title, but, you know, again, it's one of these things like like, 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 like the Brain Powered book. They didn't really need to make the cover this particular way. But, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe that's what it helps uh, uh, sell it, okay? You know, some of the cool artwork and that kind of stuff that, 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 that they have in this particular book. Uh... And drawings, that kind of stuff. Let me see if I can find a yeah. So a little bit of his uh, a manga artwork and that kind of stuff in there. It sort of reminds you of, 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 the, of that era and that time of, of you know things like uh, you know Lupin and that kind of stuff. Yeah, again, which is, I didn't really like that artwork, but again, it was one of the first animes that I remember seeing. Now I'm sure I went through a lot of titles here, and again, a lot of you people are probably sitting there. Well, what what are all these different titles and what are the what not? And begin. If you like a particular type of uh, 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 you know art style or a particular type of anime, definitely you know uh, hit up on Google and uh, and have a look at uh, you know some of the titles again. Uh, um, again, you know, depending on the type of title, you might not want to do it on a computer at work. But if you're sitting at home, you know, turn on the private browsing type of option uh, and uh, definitely go at it. See what you can find. I'm sure you'll like a lot of the stuff that's out there. Okay, so. What you want to do right now, you want to click like and you want to click subscribe. And uh, you can see more episodes of the history of fan anime. I uh, want to make more of these of them. So again, uh, also if you like, uh, I also do do some streaming on uh, twitch.tv. And uh, you can look up the King of Smut uh, 95 there. And you can also see uh, what uh, games and, and, and other th live streams and that kind of stuff I'm doing. So I'm able to do more of these type of live streams where I do things about. Okay? So. Until next time, see you again.